Peloton shares are the top trending ticker on the Yahoo Finance platform this morning, uh, Jared. And uh, it comes after that, I would say, news dump on Friday from the Wall Street Journal saying that uh, reportedly Amazon and Nike have expressed interest in Peloton here. But uh, it's unclear who, uh, who, if that is in fact true. None of this has been confirmed. Uh, Peloton is not out here talking uh, at all ahead of their earnings report later this week. But this continues to be a very fascinating situation. You know, later in the show, we'll talk to Dan Ives over Wedbush. Uh, he's making the case that Apple should, in fact, buy Peloton. But again, the decision, I think, ultimately boils down to uh, John Foley, the CEO uh, and founder over there at Peloton, that he has that dual class structure uh, that really uh, will help him just keep control of the company if he wants it here. So it's up to him to make this deal any, to any company that might be kicking the tires. I mean, this is this has this is your story. This has you written all over it. I know you track this uh, quite, quite, quite um, uh, fervently here. The Peloton is off 85% from its all-time high. You take a look. Let's take a look at the Wi-Fi Interactive. Look at this chart right here. This has been a slow and steady bleed for a couple months here. But then we have these precipitous drops. This is just gut wrenching for investors. This is a company that has lost its way, uh, got over, uh, just overhyped, I think, as part of the pandemic. And that was inevitable. There are always going to be a lot of companies that, you know, get the hot money and they can't simply execute with it. But they have they have to get new leadership and control. I mean, at this point, he's lost control. I'm sorry, you, you got to give up the company, you got to give up some controller. It's just the way it is. And I don't see why any activist investor would settle for anything less than that, Sazi. Well, and, and I'm glad you mentioned that because you, you do have that activist investor in here with Blackwells who uh, late last month sent really a scathing letter uh, to Peloton here, uh, just demanding that the company is sold or just some form of options here are looked at to, to extract value for a brand uh, that is that was a lot that was quite hot during the pandemic and does have a very loyal following base. But again, it's it's almost hard to see who would step up here and pay close to fifteen billion dollars, as Dan Eyes would suggest, for a Peloton at a time when it's producing whopping losses. Its manu manufacturing footprint. Uh, is an absolute mess. Its margins are under pressure here, uh, and there are there has been a rise in competitors in these this connected fitness gear. So anyone looking at a Peloton, sure they have to appreciate the brand strength, loyal following base, but also just have to under just have to have to a true belief in themselves that they can come in here and turn this company around within 24 months. Chief, uh, top of the list here, you have to get the manufacturing correct for Peloton. Yeah, and you know they they went all out. They bought uh, they leased an incredibly expensive uh, studio. I believe it was in uh, Chelsea. They spent a lot of money. Cash flow is an issue. They have to get that under control. There are so many execution flaws in this story. It's difficult to imagine uh, anything other than a complete overhaul of the company, including the leadership, including the control of the company. So I mean, I can I can go back to this stock chart on the Wi-Fi Interactive one more time. Here's a Max chart. Uh, we're going to get that up for you. Looks pretty much the same because they did IPO in 2019, but this big head and shoulders top, this is ugly, very ugly right here. And you put, it portends a downside of close to zero. I mean, 2460 from what, 170 and change, something like that. Uh, this stock can definitely go lower right now, just based on technicals alone. Slumping shoulders on a chart and in life, Jared, never a good thing. 